everybody and welcome back to a city skylines we're here in new isaacville 2.0 uh, everything is actually going surprisingly well considering how badly my last city just kind of crashed and burned our garbage problem that was going on over there has since just resolved itself which is absolutely lovely and for the most part Things looking fantastic. We hit 30,000 people at the end of last episode. We're gaining 300 a day. Wow. That is an absolute ton of people that we are getting every day. That's insane. We do have a little bit of demand for some more industrial, which is kind of crazy. Uh, considering we just built this massive block of offices over here next to our residential area. And it looks like we're just about to run into a little bit of a power issue. Now, I'm not quite sure why. But I think it might be to do with the fact that we probably don't have it hooked up in just the right way. If we were to do something like that, that might fix it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, because of our because our power is kind of over here, and we have like a weird network connecting everything together. Sometimes not all the buildings get power. You should have power for the most part. Let's take another one of these down real quick. We've got quite a bit of money, uh, almost 300000 there. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Hopefully, those little power bubbles will go away. There we go. Lovely. All right. Okay. What were we going to do? We were going to add... Oh, more industrial. So, yeah. We built this massive block of, of offices over here, which took really well and also a bit more commercial. But apparently, people want even more. People want more and more and more. So, I guess we're going to give it to them. Let's go ourselves another uh, big road. And let's just make uh, a few more blocks like this. Boom. 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 And boom. Okay. Nice. And then I think for the time being, what we'll do is maybe add two more. Like one here. Going along and along and along and along. And then we'll add one more. And then we'll move on to some other stuff. Because I kind of want to mess around with the policies for the city. Because as of now, we have, I don't think, any policies or any districts in our area. Which is not really a good idea. Uh, I completely forgot to redistrict when I uh, moved over from the old save to, uh, to this new one. So uh, we do need to go ahead and redistrict a little bit. But let's go ahead and just uh, do this real quick. Boom, 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 boom. We could stick down a little bit more shopping. I think we will. We'll stick down some more uh, high-density commercial right about there in a second. Just across from our, I think it's the Mall of Moderation. Which uh, I think is a perfect place to put a little bit more shopping. Let me just check that. It is the Mall of Moderation. Nice. Are there any more of those we can build? Uh, let's have a look here. So, if you look at this, most of our leisure and sort of land value over here is not very high. People aren't extremely happy with the value of the land around them. And when that happens, when people aren't that happy with the value of the land and all, like, all of the attractions that are around them, the... People don't really move in that often, and the buildings don't really upgrade. And we want the buildings to upgrade, because when the buildings upgrade, more people can move in. So that means we've got, like, more population density. And it's just overall, uh, the city looks nicer, and everything kind of just works better in a city with happy people, as you may have assumed. So what we'll do is we do have quite a few parks around, so they should really be, uh, be quite a bit happier than they are. I didn't realize we unlocked a Japanese garden. Is that new? I haven't seen that before. We'll take one. And we'll stick it down, I guess. It's not offices. I don't really want to stick it down in there. We'll take one, and I guess we'll stick it down maybe over here. Like, right about there. It looked like there's actually a perfect size for it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful little, uh, little Japanese garden. That should be absolutely perfect. And we've also got all of these uh, over here, including the Mall of Moderation, which is... I think the Mall of Moderation was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's there. There's the model of moderation. So you've got all of these other unique buildings that we can build. And all of these will increase happiness and land value of all the stuff around them. What is this? We have a grand mall. Oh, that's what it's about. That is what it's about. We take this. We could stick that down there. And I think, you know what? I think we might. I think we might expand kind of the residential coming up here and up here. And then kind of have just another big area of shopping right there. That sounds like the perfect idea. How expensive is it? It's very, very expensive. 85000 But you know what? We could swing it. We have got an absolute butt ton of money right now. Let's go ahead and just plonk that down. Oh, it doesn't fit. Look at that. There's one gap either side. That's fine. We'll stick it there. Boom. Done. And thankfully, I don't think... Let me just check that again. Uh, its noise radius is not at big enough to actually reach the residential over here and over here. So that should be fine. Um, it does require power. I'm kind of hoping... Uh, actually, I don't think anyone's going to move into there. Because that's a pretty uh, pretty steep little uh, hill. I don't know. If an office manages to fit itself in there, I will, I will applaud said officers. Uh, I was kind of hoping that some buildings would move here and here. And spread the power. But looking at the land around it, 
It, oh, it did. It did. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. It worked. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, it's having a look at me a transport. Oh, we have unlocked this guy over here. We have now unlocked a cargo harbor, which might be a good idea. Let me quickly get rid of uh, some of these burned down buildings. Uh, what else do we have? You are full. Let's go ahead and empty you out. And uh, that should be fine. Hopefully, garbage won't be an issue. You, again, are out of power. Are we really that low? We don't seem to be low on power. But for whatever reason, it's not something about it's just not happy. I'll add another two of these down here and see if that solves the issue. If it does, that's kind of weird. Uh, I didn't think that would have done. But it has. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how in the world that worked. But that's fine. We have a full cemetery. Oh, I, I, well, I never really thought about it. I knew they could get full, but I didn't assume they would in the game. I guess, do we have to empty it out? Is that what we have to do? Do we put more down? We can empty it out. That seems a bit weird. You know, you get buried in a, in a cemetery and then you can just be emptied out afterwards. But, uh, okay. Look at that. They're going backwards and forwards. They're just kind of taking people from here to here. I mean, sure, you know, not what I'd have done, but okay. Uh, building is emptying. That is 53% full. 95, 74, 76. We probably need either some more landfills or some more incinerators. I'm going to put incinerators down because these things don't fill up. They are pretty expensive, but uh, hopefully that won't be too big of a deal. We still have a ton of garbage trucks lying around. My goodness. They make, look, they make up like half of our city's traffic. It's just all flipping garbage trucks. Look at this. Jeez. All right. Shopping. Flipping more. There's more demand. For, for shopping, I guess we can go ahead and set some more down over here by our, our new mall. That would probably work out quite nicely if we do something like that. And then can we get to line up over here perfectly. I don't know if we can come on work with me here. I don't want an uneven block that's going to throw off the rest of the city. That's not right. Come on, work with me. There we go. Beautiful. All right, you and you. And then we'll set down a few more blocks of high density commercial. There we go. Put them down there and there as well. Why not? And people did actually build here. Look at this. People actually decided to go ahead and build on this very dangerous looking hill. But, uh, but hey, you know, more power to them. Gee, well done. Good good job, people who work in those offices. You, uh, you're you the best. And garbage is a little bit of an issue, but it seems to be fine. Okay, let's look at policies. So we've pretty much unlocked, I think, all of the policies right now. Yeah, we've pretty much unlocked all of them. And what I want to do is I want to implement a couple of policies around our city. Why? Oh, that's why. Water availability is on the down. That's sewage. Oh, yeah, we need to... I think we need to invest in uh, in actually some pumps because uh, as of right now, our water is all coming from water towers, which I don't think... Oh, my God. Look at all this brownness. That is not good. Uh, I don't think that's a great way to do it. So it's time we're going to set a few of these over here. And that should keep our water levels nice and high for at least the time being. Let's see. If we press play again, that should jump right up. It did. And then sewage treatment's a bit low, so we'll go ahead and stick one of these down right next to that one, like that. You do have to be careful with these because uh, I have seen cities where people will put these down and then the water will actually flood into the city, which is not the best thing in the world. It can actually be kind of dangerous. So uh, this looks like a great place to put a dam. Uh, for those who don't know what dams are, over here we have uh, this thing here, the hydro power plant, which I call a dam. The hydro power plant, what we can do is we can stick this down like there. And you can see it's going to estimate its production 128 megawatts. Uh, it costs 100,000 to put down. And it would kind of mess with the water a little bit. But it would produce quite a bit of power. As well as acting as a bridge across the uh, the little lake there. But uh, for now, we'll leave that. We've got enough power. Things are looking okay. Just as I say, we've got enough power. These guys are a little bit low. There we go. Boom. Okay, policies. Let's take a look. So, we've got some city planning policies. I think I'm going to go ahead and implement the high-tech housing policy. Uh, this one, if you hover over here, says, uh, turns home into much cooler, smarter, just much cooler homes. That's all we need to know. Much cooler, smarter homes and raises the land value of them. Slightly increased land value. Upkeep is four. I'm assuming that's like cents uh, per residential building. So, it's pretty expensive. It's going to cost us quite a lot. But as the land value goes up, like I said, more people can live in individual buildings. Buildings will level up and more people will come into the town as a result, which will, of course, increase the amount of tax we get, which will, in turn, increase our revenue. So, I think, in the long run, that is going to be quite useful. Now, you will see our money here drop from a whopping 20000 per week, which is kind of insane when you think about it. That's a lot of money we're getting per week. Um, and you can see, look at this. Look at all the dings. They're all leveling up. All the houses. They're just going insane. It's They're digging everywhere. They are all leveling up. They're all getting so much happier. 
everyone is just going insane at the fact that they can now build high tech houses. They've wanted to do this for absolutely years now. And uh, plus the city starts to look a bit cooler because these buildings look they kind of redo themselves. If we just watch this one, it should build itself back up. Look at that. It got a bit smaller, but that's fine. And they'll just build its kind of uh, cooler looking buildings and better buildings. And they'll just upgrade. And I'm not going to stay down here because that dinging is just insane. Why do you not have water? Why, why, why? Boom. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, that, that was a lot of dinging. And look at that. Our money has shot straight back up uh, in the bank balance there as a result of that. And everything's looking good. I think we might actually be earning a bit more money than we were earning before. What are we looking at? Uh, we're trying to get everyone 12% on taxes, which is kind of as high as I like to go. Um, I would consider lowering them to bring more people in. But right now, we are getting 400 people a week. 400. In all the cities I've built, I don't think I've ever had 400 people want to join my city every week. That is insane. Let's actually go ahead and make a few more little uh, residential zones over here. Uh, just to try and like accommodate for all these new people that we're going to be pulling in. And I think we'll just kind of do something like this. That's, that was just bad. That was just sloppy and bad. Just in every possible conceivable way. That was just bad. Let's do that. And then that. And yeah, that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and just add zone. Most of this, it's a high density residential again. And I think we do have a slight bit of demand for some more uh, commercial. So we'll go ahead and stick some more of that down kind of over here. Like that. And that looks good. It looks good. Now, people, again, my gosh, the industrial demand is through the roof. I think that's probably due to the massive amount of population growth that we're seeing here. All the new people that are moving in, they're like, oh, my God, did you hear? This place has got, like, a bazillion offices. And they're like, yeah, I heard. I, I want to get a job at an office in this new place. So let's move in. <laughs> and I guess we we'll probably just have to give it to them. My goodness. Let's go ahead and kind of expand this a little bit and uh, see if we can fill it up even more with some more offices. Because, my gosh, people... People love them with some offices. And the traffic actually doesn't seem to be that bad over here. Because there's no residential in the middle, we don't see, like, garbage trucks driving up and down. Everything seems to... Well, we, is this a garbage truck? I don't think it is. We don't seem to see that many uh, garbage trucks driving up and down. And it doesn't really go anywhere, so there's no real reason for heavy traffic to come that way either. So, for the most part, everything seems to be fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, come on. There we go. I wish there was, like, a little tool... They just told you where that was going to be. Where that line was that got you the highest sort of uh, area possible from a little spot. There we go. Again, we'll probably just go ahead and add two more for now and see if that kind of lowers the demand for commercial, uh, for industrial. There might be a demand for the, uh, the other industrial. I'm not quite sure if we can kind of go solely in one direction and just do offices from here on out. Or if we need to keep going with some of the kind of uh, heavier industry over here that we have. Uh, let's get rid of you and you. I guess it can't hurt to add more over here. Let's go ahead and just put down like some there and then around here. They'll probably be happy. They'll probably make use of it. And uh, we'll put some on there and there. Yeah, that looks good. And industry is always better. The more industry we have, the more jobs we've got, the more people we're going to bring in. And of course, the more money we're going to make, which at the end of the day is kind of pretty amazing. Uh, is there any more policies that I want to enact? We've got the high rise ban. Not really too bothered about that. Industrial space planning. I don't really think I'm bothered about any of these other city wide bans. <laughs> I mean, we could put a heavy traffic ban on certain areas to stop the uh, the big industrial trucks driving through like uh, like these ones here. Uh, don't really think we need that either because we have kind of this little roundabout where all of our traffic is coming through here. My gosh, that roundabout is uh, is not doing very well. Is that a big one? It is. Wow. Oh, okay. We might have to upgrade that to an even bigger one, which uh, I don't know if I want to do. Oh my god, the traffic is the traffic's backing up pretty bad uh, over on that side of town there, which is uh, which is not great. I think. One thing we could do is change this because uh, as I've been watching other people play this game and as I played it a little bit more, uh, I found that these are not really the best way to go about it. Having just straight roads coming off of your highway is not a very good way to kind of go about things. What you really want to do is kind of have these little on-ramp and off-ramps. You can see here the traffic doesn't stop. The cars just keep going and occasionally some will come on and go off. And whereas over here, you know, all the traffic stops to let people through that way because we have, I think these are actually traffic lights over here, which they're not, but they can be, people have to stop uh, to turn left. So, what I think we will do is we're going to pause here and we're going to bulldoze this area. We're just going to bulldoze that and then we're going to have some on-ramps and some off-ramps. Uh, those are these little roads over here. Now, we want one that brings cars from here on to the roundabout like that. We then want one that takes cars off the roundabout like that so people can come in and leave the city using this little roundabout. We then want to do the same, but for the other side. Because if people are coming up this way, instead of going down on this side, they still want to be able to get into the city. So, what we'll do is we'll have a ramp here that kind of comes off. 
It's going to have to go up. Like that. It's going to have to kind of go around. Like that. I'm going to lower it a little bit. And then we're going to have it connecting again right about there. Oh, I kind of want it to connect into this ramp. Yeah. We'll connect into that ramp so all the traffic kind of goes in this way and comes around. And then we've got another one. And now, did I do that right? I did. Another one that comes off here. And now, can we get that one to go, like, over that? That is the question of the day. The answer to which I'm guessing we're about to find out. Can we... Oh, jeez. This is going to be a uh, bit of a pain. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. Boom. And then we'll have that come down to there. That... <coughs> Not quite as beautiful as this over here, but I think that should work. That should allow people to come on and off without stopping the flow of traffic on the highway. But it looks like everyone wants to turn in here. So that may or may not have actually been helpful at all. Um, well, that was just brilliant, wasn't it? Uh, we could probably go ahead and upgrade this to... Actually, I don't know. It seems to be working fairly well. Um, maybe disconnecting this? Oh, I don't know. Most cars seem to be going straight forward. And then kind of around. Are they going across the bridge? Is that where most people are going? Are they trying to get to this industry? They should be able to do that using this road here. Again, probably should use on-ramps and off-ramps over here instead of just kind of these, uh, these little intersections that we have. But for the most part, I can't see why people would go this way just to loop back around and go over here. That seems kind of odd, to say the least. That's a lot of traffic. That is an awful lot of traffic. We, uh, we need to figure out a way to stop that. Maybe we could bring kind of a bit of a... Um, Hmm. Maybe bring some entrances over here so people don't have to use this way, possibly. Uh, again, we should use a little, th little on-ramp and off-ramp. But for now, I'm just going to do this just to test it. To kind of see if uh, putting a road there alleviates traffic. If it does, we might invest in another little on-ramp and off-ramp for this area. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. If a lot of people use it, which it doesn't look like they are... We might change things. Now, one thing I have learned about traffic and playing around in this game is to let things play out. Because so many times, you'll change something. It will actually fix the problem you're having. But because you don't, like, give it a little bit of time to kind of work itself out. Because now that we've changed this, we do have to give it a bit of time for these cars to figure out and kind of plan their new path. Um, but if we, if we like, don't wait a little while and think it's just wrong to begin with, we can change it again and then break it. Although, <laughs> it looks like this road is just far too thin for, for this to work at all. Um, now what we could do is kind of bring a road that goes off here and then straight up to here, uh, kind of dodging that roundabout altogether. It would look a little weird, to say the least, but it might work. Hmm, not too sure. Uh, facility empty. Oh, okay, we can go ahead and start to, uh, to fill up in the cemetery again, I guess. Let's, uh, go ahead and stop emptying. Garbage is still a bit of an issue. Not the biggest issue in the world. We are at max budget for garbage. So instead, what we'll do is we'll add like a few more incinerators up here. And we could... Oh, look, you're abandoned. Oh, water. That's why you're abandoned. Sorry about that. There we go. Apologies. There we go. Um. Yeah, garbage. Actually, is the garbage gone? No, it's... um. Yeah, for the most part, it seems to be gone. Bit of crime issues around here. Uh, understandable because we don't have a police station. We might go ahead and just build the big police headquarters here. Actually, you know what? Boom. There, right across to the mall. This thing, this mall is never going to get robbed. Look at all these people. Hi, hi, hi to Aspen, Aspen Harvey, and Annabelle Scott. They all love the A names. Flipping, having a good day, Edward Champ, Chapman, not Champ. Edward Champ, you having a good day at the mall? Good. I'm glad you are. Now there's a police station across from the road. You, uh, you should be safe in, in the hands of the law. Maybe. Uh, let's, let's empty that one out. You are emptying out slowly. Very, very slowly. I'm going to start filling that one up again because uh, it's pretty low. And I think the more of these that we have uh, not being emptied at the same time, the better things are overall. A little bit of water issues again over here. I should really check for water every time I build a new area. And uh, that should kind of be priority number one. Let's get rid of you. Uh, let's do a quick check on the whole, like, traffic as a whole in the city. For the most part, it's actually pretty good. It's kind of bad here, um, but that is an intersection, a kind of popular one that's going into the new office area. That's kind of to be expected. Uh, over here, it's pretty bad again, like we said. We've seen this. But for the most part, across the city, it's not that bad. Things are kind of doing okay, which is uh, a bit of a surprise, but uh, it looks like things are good. We have another cemetery here? Wow, okay. I guess we'll throw down another uh, crematorium there and then just go ahead and empty that out. Boom. 
Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. Let's take a quick look at education. How are we doing on education? Um, okay, so we can look here. We can see that right now we have 3,400 almost uh, children eligible for primary school education and a capacity of only 1,200. That's not good. That's not good at all. So let's go ahead and throw down a few more of those. We hit a colossal city. We have 42,000 people. Uh, at the next milestone of 60,000, we unlock an airport, which uh, is a new mode of transport. That is awesome. Uh, let me quickly get rid of some of these houses that have been burnt down. Uh, now we're up to 1,400. Uh, we really don't have enough uh, elementary schools around here, do we? Let's throw down a few more. Can we get one up there? I don't think we can. We'll put one there, I guess. That looks good. And we'll kind of let things play out and see if that increases the capacity. It should do that quite drastically. Maybe bring things uh, up. You can see that you can hear the little dings again as well. People improve their houses when they have things like schools around. They do enjoy having schools. Um, similar problem with high school. We've got 8,000 and only 4,000 capacity. So again, let's go ahead and throw a few more of these down. Spend some of our big bucks getting, uh, getting our, our country educated. Uh, not really a country, but you know what I mean. You get the idea. There we go. That should do that. And then at university, we have uh, more capacity than we have uh, eligible. So we should be fine when it comes for that. I think that's how that works uh, in terms of uh, capacity eligibility. Although I'm not 100% sure. It might be that we've got like a full 3,600 and then another 3,500 waiting. I am not 100% sure. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Hopefully that's enough. Garbage, again, people complain pretty quick. But uh, hopefully them bubbles should pop fairly quickly before they turn into angry red bubbles. And uh, we should be fine. Power is, again, a bit of an issue. We have just unlocked the uh, the nuclear power plant over here, which produces a whopping 640 megawatts, which is over double what we're producing right now. We're only producing 567. And it doesn't create any ground, uh, it doesn't create any ground pollution. You can see here, uh, the power of the atoms is in your hands. The power plant does not create ground pollution, and does it, but does emit noise uh, and higher watts usage. So I think what we'll do is actually go ahead and stick one of these kind of right, right about up here. Uh, at the back corner of our city. And then we'll just do something like uh, this. I was looking for this guy over here. And just connect the power up to everybody else. Like that. And that should be fine. That should cure our power issues for a long, long time now. Because we've kind of doubled how much we have. Which is kind of awesome. We had a ton of money. We got over half, almost half a million. Uh, I think we just added over half a million, which is kind of insane as well. Uh, our power, our money should jump back up uh, any second now. Getting a little bit worried about the uh, the garbage problem here, but all those bubbles are getting popped. I just saw one go. There we go. There we go. They've all faded into nothingness. That is good. Uh, our money's probably gone down because we just spent a lot on education. An awful lot on education, actually. Uh, surprisingly, no one is taking us up on our offer for residential over here, despite the fact that there's no water there, which I should probably fix uh, pretty quickly. Uh, despite the fact that we are gaining a massive amount of people, almost uh, not quite as many as before, but still about 200 a week, which is uh, quite a lot. In, in the grand scheme of things. And we are gaining population pretty pretty flipping fast here. Which is very nice indeed. You still don't have water, really? Oh, look at that. I was, I'm going to say I was sure I did this. There we go. And there we go. All right. Let's have a look at transport real quick. Our Oh, we can build the harbor, can't we? Let's build the harbor. Uh, let's see here. A cargo harbor. Where do we want to put this? I think we want to put this kind of over here, maybe, so that it can kind of people can bring stuff in and out uh, to this industrial area, and then if people want, they can kind of drive it over the bridge to this industrial area. That seems like a good idea. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. How much does it cost? Uh, Sixty thousand. That's fine. And we'll stick it down, kind of right. Uh, I think maybe over here. We'll stick it down right there. Boom. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, we do have to hook this thing up with the roads. That's fine. I think I'm going to use one-way roads. Uh, you can't upgrade this road here, so it's kind of pointless to go any bigger than these little ones that we got right now. So what we'll do is... It says people can go... Oh, yeah, that's a two-way road. Let's just... Uh, do I want to leave it two ways? Uh, yeah, we will do. We will do. We'll have one going in from... Do I want it to come in from the roundabout? Yeah, let's do it like that. And then let's bring it out and kind of connect it up if we can to that. And that should work just nicely. This thing does require water. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Should spread to power quite nicely. And we should start to see boats uh, appearing in the water pretty soon and kind of driving on up and, and dropping stuff off over here. People are already driving around here. Um, I don't know why no boats have arrived. So no, there's probably nothing in there. But it's probably just checking by, you know, seeing what it's like. A little bit of a shortage of workers up here. 
Not too surprised because the people are living all the way over here and are like, why would I drive all the way over there when there's just this amazing area of offices over here or when I could work at the Grand Mall, you know? Why would I go work over there? Um, one thing we could do is set up... We've got a metro station already. Um, we could set up some form of bus line. I don't think we have any buses yet, do we? Um, I don't think we do. Let's see. Buses... Yeah, we don't even have a bus depot yet. Uh, we should probably set up some form of bus system. Uh, it's a bit cumbersome and a bit tedious to make, but it does kind of help out a lot once you've got it. Bit of traffic issues over here. This is still pretty bad. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's as bad, maybe, but it's still... Oh, uh, it's still kind of bad. Everyone is trying to get on to this little roundabout here. Uh, let's quickly... Hmm. Yeah, I think what we'll do before we wrap up here is we'll go ahead and we'll replace this with one of those nice, big, cloverleaf roundabouts and see if that solves any of the issues that we're having. Let's take you and... Oh, we need to break a few more things. Kind of want to break as little as possible. That should be... almost enough. I don't want to have to break this little corner over here. Oh, oh, oh. It fits somewhere. Boom. <laughs> okay. So we got that. Now we just got to work a way, a way around to, like, actually get this thing to work. So let's do that. We're going to make it a straight road uh, connecting from there to there. We'll then do a bit of a curve, I guess, coming from here uh, around. And then we'll just kind of have it hooked back in like that. So you can kind of get in and out uh, onto this little uh, roundabout here. This one we'll do. That's coming in. So we'll do this. We don't want it to be a curved road. We just want it to, go to connect if at all possible. Boom. Like that. This one is going out so for that one what we will do is we'll kind of build i don't know where do you want to build that do we want to build that we could in fact build another bridge going over to this island which i think we might do what we'll do and we'll do that in a second we'll work on this first let's get some in and outs over here we'll have one going in to this area is this a one-way road it's not. It's a two-way road. Let's have one going to there. I kind of thought this would be a bit easier. And then we'll have to bulldoze this one and have one going up into here. Is that a police station? Yeah. Okay. Let's move that. And then maybe? Is this something important? Incinerator? Yep, it is. Okay. Let's move that and try this again. And we'll try, I'm going to try and make it a bit curved because I want to get into that corner there. There we go. Beautiful. And then look at this mess that we have over here. Right. So these are all coming in. So these guys need to be connected up to this. So we'll grab ourselves our little tool here. We'll hook that up. We have to do it the other way. Hook that up. Hook that up. That should be fine. This one, I think, was leaving the city. Maybe. This one is definitely leaving the city. So we'll go from here. And just kind of go outwards. Is that one leaving? It is. That one's going out. So let's kind of go from... Can we like pull this back a bit? And go from here again? I feel like we should be able to. But the game's like, nope. Not, not possible. There we go. All right. Is that good? Is that good? These guys had to quickly reorient themselves. That looks like it might be good. Possibly. What I will do, actually, is go ahead and quickly change that to something like that and we'll kind of pull us that little connection there that should hopefully alleviate some problems um still it's not great they've still got to go kind of i don't know it, it's it's traffic's flowing a little bit i guess <laughs> not flowing great uh, mind you but it's flowing and i guess that's a good thing in a way possibly what I might do, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for a second, disconnect that and see if people use this road instead. Because this road has got too much traffic. It's got too much. Uh, if traffic does go down, I might get rid of this whole thing. But we're going to have to see next time if that has actually gone ahead and done any effect. Here are the boats coming uh, to and from our cargo manager. And with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Look at this. We've got, we got like more officers than we have people. It's insane. We have 44,000 people. We're getting more money than we were at the start of the episode, which is always a good sign. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, be sure to like. And I will see you guys next time.